So if I were to go around over here, take the brush tool right here and then draw around, you can see that I have a graphics right here. So if I want to resize it, I can go around onto my selection tool right here. So this selection tool, and then you can see that I can go around and resize out my uh, drawing as per how I like. But what you can also do is you can skew up your drawings that you made. So for that, instead of clicking on the dot icons right here, you can go around on the side until you get this little uh, um, arrow right here. So you can click and drag. And what you can do is you can skew up your drawings as well. So let me just go around over here and draw something like a square right here, just like this. So let me draw something like this so that it is much, much more clearer. So if I were to go around onto the selection tool right here and select out everything, I can go around and skew out uh, the drawing as you can see. I can just skew it out from the side as you can see right here and change around the perspective right here. Let me just go around and create uh, create a, a bitmap layer over here. So let me just disable this and focus on the bitmap layer. Let me go around over here onto um, uh, the tool properties and increase out the size over here. And there you go. This is what I have, as you can see. So if I were to go to selection tool, I can go around and you can see that you can skew this out as well. But the pixel itself gets skewed out um, altogether, as you can see right here. So as I skew this, you can see that the individual pixel itself. So if, if I were to do this and if I were to actually skew this out from over here, if I were to zoom in, you can see that the individual pixels queues out just like this as well. So that is how you can resize and skew up drawings inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.